Good afternoon. I don't know which time zone you will be, but uh, in, now in Berlin and in Amsterdam now it's uh, afternoon. I hope you get uh, some insights from the morning sessions. And uh, my name is Bing Bing, and uh, I now study in uh, Technique University of Berlin in my final year. And I would have my uh, doctor defense at the end of this month. And uh, I'm really glad here to share my research topic here with all of uh, uh, the researchers and the teachers. Uh, my research topic is about the study of the experience of the Chinese uh, overseas university who study in Germany of how the mobile assistant language learning affects their motivation to learn for language and their uh, learning emotions. Uh, today I would say about uh, the sixth part, the discussion part I would depend on the time left. Uh, the first part is the motivation. First of all, I would say uh, a lot something about the motivation defined by different researchers. The second is the uh, understanding of the computer assistant long learning and the mobile assistant long learning and the its development. The third is the main factors of the learner's motivation in this kind of technology-based environment. The next part is uh, research questions and the method about my research. And next, I would say something about the research founding. So first of all, the motivation. Motivation, I say, uh, if uh, put on the list, a lot of teachers would say the motivation is one of the most significant influence along the learning. And from the Longman Dictionary definition, we say that the motivation stands for the driven force in any situation that leads to the actions. And also we say that uh, there are some following uh, different types of the motivation that the different researchers focus on. And I will not uh, say it uh, one by one, and, but uh, some of them would get the criticism because of the, it's more broadly of the, uh, the motivation which is defined in different situations. So when it comes to the long learning, I just do some adjustment to make the motivation into three levels, which include the language level, learner's level, and the learning environment level. For the language level, it uh, mainly includes uh, integrative and the instrument motivation. The integrative, which means the learner have the positive feeling or attitude to the target language community. For the instrument, which comes from, it's not the integrative, it comes from the, you want to have the, the great grades, you want to pass in the exam, that's what we call the instrument. For the learner level, it mainly includes intrinsic and extrinsic. For the intrinsic, if you learn something because of your curiosity, or if you have the interest for the learning activity itself, it's called it intrinsic. If you come from external, it, it's not about the learning activity itself, it's the extrinsic. And third part is the learning environment level. Some learner prefer to learning offline or online, which is about the learning environment. It depends on the uh, learning, different learning style of the individuals. So let's say the computer assist long learning from a historic perspective. We say that uh, it develops, if we see from the technology perspective, it develops from the PCs, from the computer to the multimedia and the internet, which use the different multimedia to support long learning. And now we come to the age of the mobile and the variable device to support long learning. And uh, uh, it also views language, you, you can say that we come from the cognitive to a social cognitive and to a uh, intercultural competence development. And if we say that for long learning in a mobile assist long learning environment, it has proved or it has been investigated by many uh, researchers to say that uh, mobile device is a very useful approach in language learning, uh, especially for the English as language learning. And uh, with the development of the mobile device, and it facilitates the holistic learning experience that can bridge the different location and the times and the social settings 
and it can extend the classroom to a different uh, learning scenario. And you also have uh, many research to do the mobile assist language learning from the different uh, uh, language skills, including the vocabulary, listening, writing, speaking, and reading, which I didn't mention too much here. I will speak a little bit later. And we say what kind of factors the learner's motivation can be affected in this uh, technology-based environment. The first one is multimedia. So this multimedia environment provide the exposure to language input and also the opportunities for the interaction and the negotiation with the language output in different models. You have, um, you have the animation, you have the different videos, you have the sound, which can uh, motivate learners multi-sensory experience learning. So the second one is the social interaction. People say that the internet important feature is can support people's social networking. So similarly, the, this technology-based environment can uh, offer some virtual social interaction, which can break the time and the place barriers, even though you are in different place, it also can support this kind of cooperative learning and the social interaction opportunities. Just like today, we from different time zone, but we also gathering together to have this great meeting to share the opinion, to share the talk. That would be really great thing. And third is uh, in the culture competence. And we say that uh, very authentic material. Now uh, it's a pandemic situation. People just uh, have the online conference or talk a lot. This kind of technology can support the culture understanding a lot from different perspective. I would share my uh, research from the Chinese student perspective. Uh, other colleagues share the, their research from the Spain, from the Netherlands, from different countries. So that would uh, improve the interculture understanding and competence of people when they learn different language. And next is individual learning style. We know that uh, Different learners have a different learning style. Some people just like to stay in the very comforting couch to do this learning. Some people would like to stay on the ground or stay stand still or sit still. This kind of technology just support you to learn in different places as you like. And next part is uh, learning motivation and emotions. We found that the different research would support this kind of statement that for long learning motivation is emotionally driven. And the investigation of these emotions has not been at the forefront of the research. So that's the reason why I also take consideration of the emotion aspect into my research. So my main four research questions include the do Chinese overseas university students perceive the more environment can affect their motivation to learn for language, including the listening, speaking, reading, writing, and the vocabulary in informal settings. And what the tools and activities do they perceive this mobile device can affect their motivation to practice? And what the types of motivation do they perceive, do they have during the learning activity? And what the positive and the negative emotions do they experience during the learning activity in the more environment. So my research method is I launched the online questionnaire to um, Chinese students who study in Germany in different cities. And uh, at the end, there are 406 um, questionnaires was connected. And there are 309, 94 is proved to validate. And for the data analysis method, I use the online SPSS as the tool to do the statistic analysis, to do the correlation analysis, chi square, and the influence relationship analysis. So for the research founding, before the research founding, I say a little bit about the participants' background. There are 45 
uh, male participants and uh, 55 female participants. And uh, among them, there are, uh, most of them are doctor students who study in Germany. They are 14%. And uh, uh, one of thirds are graduate students who uh, purchasing their master's degree in Germany. And they are around 12% of undergraduate students uh, participate in this research. So first of all, it's about the preference of the mobile device they use to support long learning. We see that uh, comparing with the laptop. So previously people use a laptop a lot to support long learning, but now we have found that uh, the smartphone has been a very critical tool as their learning device to support their long learning, which have surpassed the laptop. And in more details, we say that do they think the mobile device can support or can motivate them to learn for long learning? The answer is yes. And in, in details, comparing with the uh, mobile device supports the speaking and writing, which has uh, a few number. Most students thought that the mobile environment can motivate them a lot in the aspect of the vocabulary learning, listening motivation learning, and the reading motivation, which means the mobile device environment can support the long learning in a more input way, which means input practice, they think practice can motivate them more comparing with the output practice. And as long as we say that most of them think it motivates them in the mobile environment, let's say what tools and activity in details do they think they can they get motivation. So for the listening part, we say that uh, most of students think that watching the authentic movies or TV can motivate them most. Because people say the authentic material from the movie or TV, they learn a lot. They learn the gesture, they learn the, the real life tone. You can get that kind of feeling. They practice their listening a lot by this environment. Following this, we see that listening from the music and podcast motiv motivate them a lot because now we have different application on the mobile phone. In our care time, we listen foreign music or we have a lot of podcasts on the internet which can help us to get motivation of language learning. And next part is communicate synchronously, have the 47 percentage. Because as I mentioned that uh, people in this uh, special age, they do a lot of academic activity online, the online conference, online talk. So this kind of live communication can motive, motivate them to learn the listening, to practice the listening part. And also the first one, the social networking. Now the social networking developed really fast. We have the Facebook, Instagram, we have the a lot of also particular for different groups. And it also have the motivation effect to the learners who purchase their long learning. We say that uh, the speaking, a lot of people agree that speaking and listening are a pair of the practice. So we have the similar result. So similar with the listening motivation, we also say that watching authentic movies or TV can motivate learners to learn, yeah, to practice their speaking. Also the communicating synchronously, they communicate in a, in a live way, in a face face through the online platform can also motivate them a lot. And also we have the listening for music, podcast, and use the social networking site, motivate them a lot in the speaking motivation aspect. So for the reading motivation, we can say that uh, the reading authentic material 
and reading the multimedia material motivate them a lot in the reading part. And also we see a very common situation is people get a lot of translation application in their mobile phone. When they do this reading, they check the words which they are familiar with. So make them have the uh, very good feeling when they can understand the part when they check the words. So for the writing, also we have uh, similar with the listening and speaking, the writing also have some similar result with the reading. So we read to the authentic material, give the people the motivation to practice the writing and the learn the writing. And uh, the second important reason is uh, the getting immediate feedback. Because when you write something, you need this feedback from the virtual teacher or from the online teacher to tell you what kind of part is right, what kind of part you need to do some improvement. So that kind of immediate feedback motivates people to learn writing. And this mobile device environment give this immediate feedback the possibility to do. And also the communicating asynchronously motivate people to practice writing because asynchronously that people will feel not so nervous. They will write email or they will write in the BBS in a, not in a real time way. So some people prefer to this way to motivate them writing. And for the vocabulary, we say a variety of the activity can motivate them to learn. We have the authentic movie, TV. We have the music. We have the authentic material. We have the communicating synchronously. And uh, a dictionary, a lot of activity can motivate them to learn the new vocabulary, to learn the new words. So the next part is uh, to what extent, so what kind of uh, motivation they obtain when they do this general for language learning. We have the top 10 motivation factors. The student can feel motivated in this uh, kind of more environment. The first one people think if they can learn at any time and place, they will feel motivated to learn for language, which agreed by a lot of uh, long for a language learner because when they, they have a lot of time in between besides the uh, classroom time, when they waiting bus, when they on the way, when they in the bus, when they are not in a formal learning scenario or environment, you can have their mobile phone to learn if they have the motivation. And secondly, we say that uh, people will feel motivated if they can communicate asynchronously, that's the second. And for the fourth, we see that if they can communicate synchronously. So communicating in synchronous way or asynchronous way, both motivate the people to learn because they can communicate with the native speaker. They can practice their listening and speaking better and better to be more like the native speaker. So this kind of activity would motivate them to learn. For the third one, we see that uh, people think they feel motivated to learn foreign language in the more because they can choose what they need to learn. When they say what they need to learn, there are two aspects meaning. The first is part, they can choose the suitable level because as long as they have the suitable level, they don't feel too difficult to follow the content. They have this kind of feeling of accomplishment. They learn step by step. That's very important. They can choose the suitable level. And the second is they can choose the interesting topic related to their personal experience or related to their personal um, career or something like that. So they have this kind of choice in this mobile environment so the fifth part 
you see that because people think it's useful in real context about their learning content, you can feel motivated to learn for language. Because as long as whatever the students or the new graduates, as long as they think it's useful for their exam, it's useful for them career, you will have great motivation to learn from language comparing with the normal purpose one. So I would not say the following, but when people can get to know more cultures or when they can determine their learning objective, they have motivation to learn from language in a general way. So next, when I would say a little bit part about the emotion experience. When they learn for language in the more environment, we see that most of the students will feel interest, which this environment can provide. And also we have the 66% of students feel curious. They have this curious to explore the different learning content, the different learning way, the different choice, the platform, the mobile device can provide. Also, they can feel relax, relaxation because they have the choice. They have the, this kind of uh, determining to say the pace, the time, the place, they will feel relaxed. So that's the most uh, top three positive emotion they experience in the more environment. And also we say that there is a significant difference about the positive emotion of the interest, curious, relaxing among the different group, which means in this research, we found that the female students, they have more emotion of interest, curious and relaxing in this more environment comparing with the male students. We don't know the reason why, which needed further investigation. And next is about the negative emotion experience in the more environment. We say that some people would feel boring if they get familiar with the environment, if they didn't seek the suitable learning material, or if they don't think they can handle the online learning they have this feeling. And also we have the frustrated. People feel frustrated after the learning online because they, some people don't have this kind of face-to-face -face feeling. They prefer the face-to-face -face talk and discussion. But on the online, people can do anything if they shut down the camera or they can follow the teacher. They can't give feedback to the teacher in a timely way. So they have this feeling. Next is anxiety. Most of people said that online environment can release or decrease the anxiety, but in this research also, we still have the one third of students think they have anxiety in this online way. And besides of that, we also found some significant difference about the negative emotions between different groups. For example, we see that the non-language related subject, which is this, they, they learn the natural science, they learn the engineering. This part of group of students, they experience more boring compared with the language related group of students. And we also have the language related students, they experience more confused comparing with the non-language related students. Maybe, the language related students, they have uh, the guidance from, they have more requirement for the language level. So they purchase a lot of high level content in this online environment. So that might be the reason why they have more this kind of confused emotion in this environment, which needed to be investigated later in another study. So we see some correlation result between the motivation 
of the specific language skills and emotion. So first, we found that enjoyment and relaxation, they both have a significant positive impact relation to learn foreign language listening, which means the more enjoyment, more relaxation they experience in a more environment, they will have more motivation to learn language listening. Similarly, in the second, the more people feel excited, the more they will feel motivated to learn language speaking in the more environment. And also the excited have the similar function with the language writing. So the more they feel excited, the more they, they will get motivation to learn language speaking and writing. And about the language vocabulary, as long as the people can experience the emotion of interest, they will get more motivation to learn language vocabulary. So comparing with the positive emotion, we have a negative emotion correlation result. We see that the boring has a significant negative impact relation to learn language speaking, which means the more the people get bored in this environment, the less motivation they will get to learn foreign language speaking in the more environment. And the boring also have the similar function to the language writing. So the more they get bored, the less they want to practice their language writing. And also we have the depression. The depression also have a significant negative impact relation to the language vocabulary. So as long as the people get depression, have this emotion for the vocabulary learning, they will have very little motivation to conduct this activity in the more environment. So I guess that's basically the result. For the discussion part, I, I don't think I would speak them uh, in detail in this uh, uh, scenario, but uh, I'm more than happy to discuss uh, more details in the discussion part with all of you. Thanks a lot for your time. Mm -hmm.